the crew of the Pobluckland Wren has done lots of good um, deductive work in um, investigating into uh, using their science bay and just general thinking about uh, what could possibly be the way that they could stop their ship from being obliterated by zooming electrons. Um, a couple things they tried was they looked into um, whether or not doing something with the shields would help uh, ionizing them or polarizing them. Let me. I, I, I don't know my science none too well in the brain. Um, and also doing something with the hull they, they investigated. And they also investigated uh, being able to um, do something with the energy of the cannon. Um, some sort of thing there. Unfortunately, none of those, those investigations panned out. All the answers were no. Um, however... You know, they eliminated some, some options, and there are only so many things that you can do in this game that, that are maybe plausible ways of dealing with this, this issue. Um, and so we'll join them now while they're, they're thinking about what could it possibly be. As we rejoin them, they've got one more yes or no question to go. Join the interstellar marines, they said. See new worlds, meet interesting aliens, they said. Well, I say we drop our payload on that ship and that nucleus and call it a day. Oh my, neither shields nor the hull are a solution. So on we go for the positron idea. We might ask, can we shoot down electrons before they hit us? If we can't find a way to defend ourselves against this onslaught, let's get on the offense. That, or we've got to bug out, no pun intended. Oh, what about adjusting the speed? Do you think that might help? We started colliding more when the ship started going faster. At this point in the online discussion, I stepped in and I, I kind of broke it down. Sometimes it helps to do this to kind of keep it moving. I broke it down to the two kind of questions that were, that were uh, posited, one being uh, having to do with the speed and the other one having to do with um, whether or not we could shoot them. Um, and then... We don't need to ask about whether or not we can shoot them. I'm just going to shoot them. And so we start turn two, phase four. There's the status of the ships or the ship's energy levels and all that. Um, I've made, I've been making some errors, which uh, Camelorn, who's one of our players, who is the one who's played this game. I don't think anyone else who's playing uh, knows the rules of the game other than Camelorn, who's playing Dr. Zush there. Um, he pointed out to me that I've been doing shields wrong. The shields should go down in energy when they're shot. And in looking that up, I also found that the ship should be getting out of control when it gets shot. That's going to make things a lot worse when it gets hit by electrons. So far, the shields have just been staying up because that's what it says in my rule book. But that apparently is an errata, which makes a lot of sense to me. I kind of... I um I like it better that the shields are actually going to be affected and the you know the steadiness of the ship gets affected if it gets shot. Um so would changing our speed help us avoid the electrons? I'm sorry, Lieutenant Corpulent Runt, but the answer unfortunately is no. That changing your speed will not help you avoid the electrons. Alright, and the bot ship is destroyed. They just failed a hull check. It's the first time this has actually happened to me uh, in the game. So what's, what's going to happen now, since um, the Publucklin Ren is actually fairly close, is it's going to take damage. Uh, so it's a size 5 ship, so it's 4, 3 damage to the Publucklin Ren. And they're going to get to use shields on that, of course. But the shield power is going to go down after this. And this goes directly, the damage goes directly to the hull rather than damaging module. So that's, I think, a little less bad. And not a bad roll either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's only five damage to the hull from this blowing up ship. That's really not bad at all. I don't recall if I mentioned, but it was a missile that did it. Uh, two missiles were, were both 
on the tail of the bot ship. One of them hit, the other one missed, and that hit, you know, that roll of three was enough, and since the, the you know, the lack of luck, the enemies don't get to use luck in this game, and that, that can be a real killer. Uh, you know, they had to get a five or higher than five in order to survive. They were unable to do that. Would have been, you know, if they, if the bots on board the ship had luck, they would have been able to use it. So now, um, Lieutenant Capsule is going to be shoot, trying to shoot an electron. I hate to say it is impossible. Um, but I, I, I don't hate to say it. It's okay to say it because it's, it's relevant data uh, for the crew of the Pabuklin Ren. You can't shoot the electrons. They're just much, much too fast, unfortunately. And that's going to do it for the, the player's turn. Um, what they did was these couple over here, uh, Commander Red and Merker, Junior Lieutenant Merker, they're heading back to the helm and to other places just to kind of help out. Doesn't seem like there's any more uh, military threat anywhere around. Um, there's no one there except the nucleus, and we've established that you can't shoot at the electrons. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the two, the two Chipaks, they they fixed both the cargo bay and the engine room. I had misread the cargo bay. Um, Apparently each of the items is supposed to get damaged on a six in there. I just said it was all damaged when the cargo bay was damaged. It was unlikely that anything would have been damaged otherwise, so we're, I just played it that way that time. And in the future I'm going to do it the proper way where the different items in there get damaged. Um, so anyway, that got fixed up. The engines got fixed up. Uh, some more hull damage got fixed up by Junior Lieutenant. Tick tack. So we're at 51 now. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of smudgy. 51 or a sigh or slow, however you want to read that. I choose to read it as 51. Um, and then our scientists, they managed to get one more question in. Um, they both gave a shot. They weren't both able to do it um, just because they, it didn't seem like they wanted to use a bunch of luck trying to get the roll necessary after one did it. Um, so we're ending off with turn uh, phase four there. Uh, there's the ship's status, and that's going to do it. You guys have another question. I'm going to let you ask it before we continue.